So, but when he came to the rent, you refused to receive sex. Now you're asking, if, see, I'm even feeling that the lady has left you, sir. <laughs> Lies. The judge is coming. The judge is not that. <laughs> no, the audience, you have to arise, arise, rise, 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 rise. The judges are here. Hello, everybody. I welcome once again to the marriage court. This is your favorite show on this side of eternity. <laughs> All right, don't mind me. You're much, most, most welcome. Okay. Yeah, this is the Obunaya Apple case and we are glad that you are always here. Yeah. Um, we know and we believe that you have been receiving a whole lot of value and wisdom towards relationship, marriage and everything in between. So, we are back again and we have a case. Now it's from a man. <laughs> the first case from a man that we are having since this show began. Let's hope it ends in the fifth hand whether it ends or not, it's, it's enough that it's from a man. It shows that we also... Yes. Yeah. Alright, so this one says, Good evening. I am dating a very rich lady. She lacks nothing at all. She has been quite generous, I must confess. She got me a car recently for 8 million naira. Why are you putting hand on, on the... on the? Are you are in court? I cannot. <laughs> What kind of judge is this? <laughs> yeah, be romantic inside the court. Can you imagine? You can't help it. Though. They will say that your judgment is biased. <laughs> <laughs> so he says that she recently got him a car um, for 8 million naira. And he says, I am grateful for this. But my rent is due. You know, when you hear about, you know that there's a buzz was coming. I am grateful for this, but my rent is due. And business hasn't been good for me. It is just 3 million naira and she has refused to help me. How can I marry a lady who has so much and will be stingy over a major need that I have? Is this not a red flag? So, that's the question. What do you have to say? <laughs> and if you are there, even before we start talking, you can do it to put in your thoughts in the comment section. Do well, share with us what do you think is this a red flag the man is asking this um attitude this um in quote neglig negligence of the his let me say his fiance right yeah his fiance is it a red flag should she just he believed that she should be able to he, she has the money so she he believed that she should be able to just freely give him the three million naira and so he's asking if he should be you know wary of her and you know maybe cut off the relationship if since she's not responding to this major need of his so while you put in your comments in the comment section yeah. right let's hear um from the woman judge please permit me to put my hand on my husband judge oh. hey, hey, oh. i hope that your judgment will be accurate <laughs> <laughs> of course Love Insp is inspiration with flow exactly <laughs> So, excuse me, sir. I want to ask you, you want a to question. Start by firing them, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. No problem. Somebody bought you a car of eight million naira, and you are asking if the person is stingy. No, somebody, a lady, got you a car of eight million. He don't get you kekeda pep. He did not get you okada. He did not get you a, a one. Baku baku car for <laughs> let's say you know cars are expensive that one billion dollar got you eight billion and a car that is eight million dollar at least it should be a car you know there are vehicles yes there are motor cars motor, motor that cars. are cars the cars it should be a car at least to an extent eh got you a car recently I I am very careful with the words recently. But your first of why are you living in a house of three million naira? Maybe he could 
um, afford it. So he all he of just said that his business is not doing fine at the moment. So his business has the capacity, I believe, okay. to sustain, so sustain the three the, millionaire, the three house. millionaire house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So at this point, he doesn't have any other money. It's just he needs three million from his fiance for a house. Yeah. Wow. And she's not budging. Wow. The truth is that a one-sided story is not always accurate. If a lady who has the effrontery or heart, not effrontery, heart, to give you a car worth eight million naira, is it three million naira she will not give you? I want to believe that this man has been leeching on this lady. Okay. That's what I want to believe. Okay. Because someone who gave you eight million, <clears throat> is it three million they can't give you? Do you understand? So it's possible that this guy has been leeching on this lady. Mm. And I want to talk about entitlement mentality. Oh. All these ones are side do. I'm trying to vent. But entitlement mentality. There is this thing with men that I know. They have the innate desire to fend for themselves and for their families. So coming to say you expected her to pay your rent of three million naira is an entitled mentality in fact it's you that has the red flag (laughs) it's a very bold red flag because that lady is not am i saying that she should not support no no she should support a lady that got you an eight million naira car is a supporter I, I I think what we should underline here is that they are not yet married. They're not yet married though. So she doesn't owe the man anything as it were. As it were. Yeah. Yes. So they are not yet married. So that is the game changer. So had it been they were married, it would be another discussion, you know, altogether. Right? So no, they are, they are not yet married. They're not married. That's why I'm saying this. If they are married, of course, the woman can step in. You know, we always talk about stepping in 100% responsibility yeah. and all of that. You have to. But at this point, no. No. She doesn't have a red It's not a red flag. She's not stingy. You have a red flag, and that is entitlement mentality. Okay. As a guy, I know guys know how to sort out their way. Yeah. You can't just sit down and. You know, he's saying that um, business not go well. We cannot know. We are not in the business now. We know the business partners. We don't know. So it's possible that he just wants to chill and be like, yeah, my, my girlfriend has money. So she could she can able... She will be able. She will be able to take care of the bill. But when it comes to house rent, and I believe she's not living with you, please take up that responsibility. When it comes to because he said my house rent, like so it's not it's not Yes, my rent. Yes, it's, they are not living together. So his rent is three million. Is your rent or ga pay your rent? You see, you see, you know, you know, this is a very fun thing. If we flip it now, be like, why, why, when ladies enter a relationship, they are automatically broke. They, 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 they. don't they have bills? Were they not paying bills before? Oga, before she came, were you not paying your bills? So how come all of a sudden she's stingy? How come all of a sudden she's stingy? She's not stingy. She's not stingy. What if you collect the money from her and leave her? Do you understand? What if you collect all this money from her and leave her? Because some, sometimes that's how some people behave. She's not stingy. You are stingy. You have the entitlement mentality. That the red flag is from you, sir. The red, the red flag is on you. It's on you. It's not on her. It's not on her. <laughs> so and and let me let me say this conclusion. Ladies, be careful, especially ladies who have money. Be careful about how people or fiancés and quote boyfriends, fiancés try to emotionally blackmail you into into taking up responsibilities because whatever you start in courtship you will continue no start with you no go finish now he's blackmailing you that you are stingy you are selfish he doesn't know you are like this and you now start paying before you know it he's can be he will be doing his business using his money for another thing and expecting oh my perfect wife will take care of the bills there are some men that don't like taking care of bills let me tell you don't think that every man is responsible there are some that prefer to use that money and do every other thing than paying school fees, paying rent, paying all the things that they need to pay. So, sir, the red flag is on you. 
you have an entitlement mentality. She doesn't have a problem for crying out loud. Somebody that bought you a car for eight million, please. She's not stingy. In this our generation, that is the other. She, even with her money, some people will wait for you to to spoil them. They got you a car, not keke. They got you a car for eight million naira. Just recently. No, please, please allow her breathe. All right. <laughs> The man will be like, what have I gotten myself into? Are these judges fair? Alright, just to um, add my voice, um, I think that the lady is just... Um, when it comes to things like this, you should allow your fiancé to do, you know, things out of her will. Yeah. Let her willingly do whatever she is doing. So, you are the man and you are expected to take responsibility over your life. So what you are doing now is that you are it, 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 it's a gross lack of responsibility. It's irresponsible, absolute irresponsibility. Do you understand? So what you should be thinking about is what can I do? How do I pay this rent? So she, for example, what came to my heart is that she got to a car of 8, eight million naira. You can say the car. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> she may be angry. <laughs> But that's an option that shows that you are taking responsibility. So you can, you can, there are a whole lot of things. So assume that she's not in your life currently. What would you do? What could you do? If it entails leaving that apartment for a cheaper one, you move. It shows that you are a responsible man, that you are, you, you, you can plan, you can, you, you know, you can envisage and walk towards something and make things out of nothing so she would not want to end up with a man that totally depends on her so i believe that she's a wise woman exactly so she and and, and she's bold actually she, she's bold because some women they will not be able to resist okay ah, let me just pay it off now i have the money so she knows what she wants she knows what she's looking for and she knows what she doesn't want in a man knowing that she has a whole lot of money so she wants a man that can take responsibility of the home that can be responsible for the house even though she is uh, um, not every woman is into that independent woman kind of thing so even though she has the money she wants the man she wants a man that can that can be the head of the family that can rule with wisdom and steer the ship of the family in the right direction so for me it is not a red flag on her part it is actually a red flag on your own part right so you should sit back and, and begin to um look at how what are the ways to pay off set your rent if it's something you cannot do again based on your business and the question is your business did this just all of a sudden start, start you know start falling that you couldn't afford even didn't you know era? that your rent is due in so 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 time so what were your plans you know from the time your business started going down you know a a, a man one of the things in our minds is the rent number one fending for the family number two so from the time your business started going down what was in your mind or how were you thinking that you're going to offset the rent i believe that in your mind you you were thinking oh she's there now she's going to help out she's going to pay the rent what is three million naira that, that she cannot give me so that's prevented you from thinking you know about how to handle the the rent so what you have there is an entitlement mentality so it is not only ladies that have entitlement mentality yes. men also have entitlement mentality entitlement mentality is is you know is is um cross gender so whenever you are in a relationship with somebody that you know seems to be well to do and her in your mind has a whole lot of money whether it is a romantic re relationship or just a um, filial kind of relationship uh maybe friends uh family there's always that tendency to begin to think that you are that the person should be responsible for you but but, but that is an entitlement mentality so we must learn to appreciate what people give us and not expect have that entitlement oh i am entitled to your money i'm entitled to this i'm entitled to that when you do that you become unproductive because you are constantly thinking about oh believing that this person would sort you out 
it will make you not to think well to know okay how can i go about this and if you are a believer to start praying lord can you help me provide for me let me do this let me do your prayer will now turn to lord <laughs> can you send the money through her? <laughs> do you understand so it is something that you have to deal with in your in your in your mind if that relationship has to work and I want to say this, nobody owes you anything. Yeah. Nobody. Nothing. Not, not your father, not your mother. And be grateful for mother. whatever you receive from anybody. Exactly. Be totally grateful. Exactly. Not your siblings. He talked about philo, philo relationship, whatever kind of relationship. Nobody owes you anything. You have a right to make the best of your life by yourself. So don't come to a relationship and expect the person who has more money to, to feed you. I'm talking with respect to ladies too. Don't come to a relationship. You have been paying your bills. You've been eating. So all of a sudden you enter the relationship and you can't fend for yourself again. No, you're deceiving yourself. You are deceiving yourself. Yeah. So you even gain more respect when it's obvious. You can imagine this scenario. Someone who is think crazily rich. A guy and the lady is just trying to maybe doing business little here, not even earning in six figures. And you see her hustling to make her to make the best of herself. That six, that seven figure and uh, fiance, we respect you to the core. Yeah, you're not a leech. Nobody loves loves parasitic relationships and you Nobody. find out that it that that fiance is not the person that will now come oh your rent is due how much do you have do and you, now support yes. but you can't you, you can't, can't just sit down sit down and, and wait for her how to pay everything or if it's the guy and, and wait for him so he or she has to see the responsible yes. the what was it what was english now the serious how responsible yeah. you are then he or she will now step in yes do you understand? That's the way it works. Yes. I can assure you that if you start making, you know, start taking steps to sort out your rent, she is going to support help. You. She's going to su support you. Do you understand? But you can't sit down and, you know, just expect her to pay off your your rent. Yes. And you're not married. Okay. I think, you know, we should take this discussion also to the marital contest because it's a, a bit more different if they were married. So maybe in our next episode or sometime, you know, maybe when we have some issue like that, we can talk about finances. Is it 50 50? Is it 100 100? Is it 100 0? Yes. <laughs> you know, those kind of things. But in this case, they are yeah. single. So, in this case, they are my single. message to single ladies is don't be entitled, run away from entitled men. Yeah, single guys, don't be entitled. Run away from entitled ladies. You will never satisfy someone who has the entitlement mentality. Yeah. And like I said, and they no, will never be grateful. They for will what never you've be done. grateful. No. Nobody owes you anything. Even if you have an uncle that is the head of state of uh, America, eh? He doesn't owe you anything. This is the hardest truth you will ever hear in your lifetime. Nobody owes you anything. So start now to make sure your life becomes better by yourself. If they want to help you, fine. And don't go about saying, I have uncles, I have aunties, he doesn't want to help me. It's a red flag. Is it what? What? Is a red what? There are so many people that don't have uncles and aunties and they've made it. Do you understand? Beautiful, if you have a fiance, if you have a spouse that can support you, if it's the lady that can give you all her money, that's fine, no? it's good. But don't ever feel that because somebody did not help you, the person is bad. Don't ever. In this case, see, the truth is that we might not know how far this lady has helped this guy. It's not just the car. Yeah. That's why I said a one-sided story is not always true. Yeah. The lady must have somebody done that has money, has money to give you a car of eight million, must have done a whole lot of things and expected that you should receive sense. Mm -hmm. So, but when it came to the rent, you refused to receive sense. Now you're asking, if, see, I'm even feeling that the lady has left yourself. <laughs> You are thinking, you are still asking if it's a red flag. The lady, if you don't jump The lady has slammed the red flag on you and, and ran. <laughs> All right. Um, so, what are your thoughts? Um, do you agree with our judgment? Do you think that there is something we are not getting right, that we did not get right in our judgment? Let's hear your thoughts, your opinions in the comment section and let's know what you think about this matter. The matter is a matter. It's a matter. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining in this episode of the Marriage Courts. Um, we remain your host, the Obunaya Apple Case, and we will see you again next week, Friday, by 8 p.m. West African time. See you. See you.
Chao. 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 Chao.